two of pretty much the strongest legal stimulants you could buy right now. These kids are shot! Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a little comparison video today on DMHA versus DMAA, two of pretty much the strongest legal stimulants you could buy right now. I've done a good amount of testing on both. Before I get into this video, I know I have all these uh, marks on my forehead as from doing some cupping. Uh, when you do it on the face, um, you're supposed to like move them around really quick or else they leave these marks. They leave these marks all over the body. I know it looks really weird. They're gonna be gone in like a week or so and actually I don't feel anything. I just wanna put that out there. I know I'm looking a little weird. It will go away very soon. Anyways, on to DMAA versus DMHA. I did a video comparing DMHA to Teocrine and Dynamine and I ordered everything from bulkstimulants.com. I actually really, really like them. They're one of the only stimulant houses that I can trust right now. I'm kind of looking at a few more, but so far bulk stimulants, great high quality products, great price and great amount of servings for price because they are in powders. It's absolutely fantastic. For the longest time, DMAA was banned from pretty much everything. And now um, bulk stimulants was carrying it again. So even though it was $45, a little bit more than they usually charge, I ended up buying this. And then they wrote me a message on Instagram and they're like, Hey, we liked your video. We'll send you the rest of our product line and, you know, just tell us what you think. You know, if you want to do a review, do a review about it. So um, I really did want to do a review on DMAA because I have not talked about it before. And it is a new stimulant that I thought was going to be gone forever. A lot of similarities between these two. DMAA is, is a lot stronger. The little uh, scuba they give you is 10 milligrams versus DMHA is 75. This is 7.5 times the amount of ingredients in there. So for the longest time, DMHA kind of scared me. Uh, so I really wouldn't take like a super, super high dose. I took like DMHA for about seven days straight at a pretty high dose. When I ran out, I reordered some more and I just really didn't like the feeling of readjusting afterwards. I really kind of regretted taking a strong dose for seven days. So after then I've been just taking pretty much like a square scoop, which is about 75. I kind of it wasn't really thinking about the research when you actually look at how much DMHA they will put in usually a single serving for pre-workouts. It's about 150 to 200. So when I was taking DMHA I was really 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 low dosing it so just completely playing it safe so for these reviews I actually did take a lot of varying doses um, from each of these one scoop two scoops three scoops all those what maybe up to like four five six and I've also taken max like two and a half scoops of DMHA because DMHA is, is very very strong and this one is very strong so let me get into the review so DMHA more of like a euphoric kind of feeling versus DMAA. DMAA is definitely stronger, but you can notice it per milligram. It's kind of got this backbone style feeling. When I was first trying um, DMAA, I was kind of upping my scoops pretty much every day, trying to basically kind of barely enter that euphoric zone so I could feel like, okay, this is the zone where it's starting to kind of enter that craziness, but it's also like not too much at the same time because you really want um, the best dose possible with these. So I was kind of upping this and upping this and upping this, the DMAA, and I never really felt overly super good or euphoric. Now it did provide me extreme amounts of energy. Um, this, I, I kind of really wasn't feeling too much for a long time. I was mixing it in like big drinks with stuff, but I find that it is more effective if you just take it and put it in your mouth and just let it dissolve. Absorbs a lot better and it seems a lot more pure. It just felt like a pretty decent like burst of energy. I really wouldn't feel it was more that I didn't feel tired and I was just up doing stuff, but I didn't really feel great. Um, but I noticed one of the times I actually took a good amount of this stuff, maybe up to 80 milligrams, eight scoops. Uh, I really wasn't feeling like two or three, like and maybe up to like four or five, I was kind of feeling it. And then I ended up taking like a good amount and going snowboarding. I only took it in the morning because this stuff lasts for a long time. These both last for like nine to 11 hour half-life, which means it basically lasts an extreme amount of time and to take it as early as possible if you're gonna take either one of these two. But I took DMAA in the morning, went snowboarding, and then I had to go to work after. And I just noticed I was pretty much unsettled the whole time I was at work. I know I was tired from snowboarding, but it was just like, I just couldn't get that relaxed feeling. Like I could just tell it was up. DMHA is much more euphoric. I'd actually recommend DMHA a lot more because for how strong these are, it's kind of nice to have, have a little bit of a euphoric balance. If it's gonna be such a strong stimulant and there's no euphoria at all, it's gonna be very anxiety inducing. It's very scary. You're pretty much gonna enter the negative side effects of a stimulant if there's, there's almost like no euphoria at all. So that's what's good about the DMHA, but it's also not too, too much. I really wouldn't say this is like a party drug or somebody, somebody should take this just to feel good. Although it kind of has a little bit of those properties, 
it's kind of dances in the middle of just being like a strong stimulant where you're awake and having a little bit of euphoria but i didn't find as much euphoria with the dmaa although i did find it to be very 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 strong when i figured out how strong the dmaa was number one the first time was when i took about eight scoops and like i said i was feeling really unsettled all the way to the rest of the day and i know eight scoops seems like a lot but normally in normal pre-workouts i remember um, the dose was about 30 milligrams and i was just taking this pretty much by itself i wasn't taking too much other stuff and i was also mixing in drinks i didn't take eight scoops like right in my mouth so i think putting it in the drinks like somehow makes it a little bit less effective and this is kind of nice too because this tastes really bad but i don't mind tasting it in my mouth if you put like teacrine or dynamine that stuff is just it's too bad it's too strong i can't do it you almost can't get it out of your mouth i can't describe to you how strong the teacrine and dynamine um, taste is this is actually pretty bad but to me it's doable and this stuff is effective at low doses. I got one last story to kind of sum up kind of where I'm at with DMA and DMHA. You know that DMHA, I need less scoops, probably about, I would say the sweet spot with DMHA is probably in like the 150 to 200 range by itself. Be careful with taking anything else besides that. With DMAA, I would say probably start off with 20 to 30, maybe go up a little more if you've tried it and you're going to work out a lot. So I have one last story to share with you that uh, about my most recent experiences with these. So yeah, I tried this one and I tried at a higher dose and I felt like more of the euphoria. I felt more of kind of what I'm looking for if I'm going to take something this strong. So I took the DMHA one day and I took the DMHA another day felt great just what I wanted it to do and it doesn't last forever but definitely take it as early as you can in the day because it lasts a lasts a long long time so I took this for two days and then I was like well I'm not going to be snowboarding I'll just take it easy the third day I was just really out of it I was just waking up going to sleep waking up and like I just didn't have that spark I could have a little caffeine have a little of this and I'm like man like nothing nothing feels like it's working and I'm like oh man maybe it's because I got used to this stuff it's so strong and then it has that euphoria so maybe it's making me feel bad now because it gave me the good feeling it's taken away whatever I was like getting ready for work and I'm like well this stuff's like it's a lot more mild you know usually I was taking maybe 40 50 milligrams of the stuff so I was like, okay, I'll just take two scoops real quick. And I actually put it, I didn't put it in a drink. I just put it straight in my mouth, which actually is a lot, lot stronger. I know that now you might even be able to get like a less dosage just by doing that. And I went from having no spark to, I first, I felt really good. I felt like, oh man, like this is, that's what I, this was what it was. I took too much of this and I didn't kind of like wean myself off or I didn't just take this one day and then not take it the another day. I should have just taken it once and got out, maybe taken it twice, but just being really careful about how strong this is i take two i feel good but like i said the whole day i was feeling lethargic and out of it so i wasn't really getting everything ready for work when i took this i had to work in maybe like an hour i started to get everything ready i had somebody who lives with me who doesn't work just standing in the way of me like when i was you know getting everything ready for work you just stand in there and not doing anything and normally that bugs me and all this stuff and i knew it was the dmaa but i totally went off on this guy because he was just standing in the middle of the way while he was not working, while I was getting ready for work. And I just completely went off my rocker. I was super like pissed off. This stuff is, is pretty scary how strong it was off two scoops. I couldn't believe there's one time when I was taking three, four, five, six, and it was like, okay, it's pretty decent. And then I take two and it's like, I just so wish I took one or none at that point. So this stuff is extremely, extremely strong guys. <laughs> get it while you can even though i like dmha better and it seems to be a little bit more ready available dmaa is really nice because it's so so exotic who knows when they're gonna ban this again all the bulk supplements come in 10 gram packets like this it kind of depends on how much of the dosage you need determines how much servings you get per container a lot of times they are 75 milligrams or 100 milligrams that seems to be a good dose but this is actually 10 milligrams which i think comes out to a thousand servings but like i said usually you want more than like two or three or around two or three but i had a very scary experience taking two definitely recommend you don't ever really take these more than once in a row maybe maybe twice in a row at a high dose and in the very beginning of the day and when you have an extreme workload like i wouldn't really take these unless you were doing like so much physical activity you're just going to be so exhausted as you need it i have two packets that are open of each one of these that i'm currently using so i'm kind of saving these ones and one of these dmaas 
they provided me. I bought both DMHAs and I bought the other DMAA. So just full disclosure, I got a lot of stimmy stim stims here. Just let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of DMAA versus DMHA. Quick little recap. DMAA, super strong backbone, not that much euphoria. DMHA, super strong backbone, maybe not as strong of a backbone, but a little bit, little bit more euphoria, which is what you'd want. But again, not so much euphoria that I suggest people just get it to go get high off of or go get use it as like a drug. I would not use it like that. I personally would use it just for what it is, a workout supplement. And it actually kind of, the euphoria will help the workout, but it's got such a strong backbone that you gotta work out no matter which one you're taking. Um, that's been my two cents. Let me know what you think of both of these down below. I doubt you've tried them individually, but if you tried them in like pre-workouts, let me know what your favorite pre-workout was that, you know, carry these two. Let me know what you think of each one of these down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do that. any of you guys help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.